Why give up my life? Who did ride so hard from there to here to tell us so, to tell us so? The world in jeopardy. The warnings came 10,000 years and even once the world destroyed, but none would hear. And then again, the extraordinary thing, the Son of God came down to say and say, this I am, this you are. And how the twain shall meet. But it was hard to give up the configurations we had designed, each man a separate dream and plan and way of being separ separately. There was tried man with woman, children come, but seems now failing more and more. There is no ever marriage, no nurture of the nest, but all pushed out ungainly, unready, pushed unto money and success, thought happiness. The one known way of grace is the way to, of the cross. But why give up my life, my one and only life? Yet life was not to be a warning, but a prologue, a prelude to a perfect life beyond perfection. I saw the snow did hesitate and murmur in the wind and half turned back. Afraid of life this day we were, life run faster than our mind could bear. We sniffed the trace of air to see if you were there, yet does your fragrance linger. You are not magical, never does your fragrance linger. You are not magical or fantastical. No gift is given individuality, but all is of the whole and the experience of life is whole. We are not unfairly dealt nor compared within the populace. The race is already by you won, the prize received. We have not learned this. The race upon the earth is not the race to heaven. It is other, other than we have conceived. For it is humanly inconceivable, the lives being lived our scattering of thoughts and of moments. Yet, like the snow, turn halfway back from the fate of falling to the earth or rising up. We are they who rise, yet not of our rising, but of being brought up to you. We are escaped from our own circumstances and wayward intents. And with the whole body of the people of God, taken up to all which cannot we cannot achieve. We do not even understand the goal, but know it is your presence, which cannot here be described. Let us not run with all those, these about us, who scamper to all nothing places, but rather pray your presence to us, in the whole of men, your people, together, somewhere, and where your allness will be known.